In this film, we will show you how to replace the Bilstein B4 air suspension module on the front axle of the Mercedes-Benz S-Class W222. Please adhere strictly to the instructions shown in the film. Air suspension modules should always be replaced in pairs. It is imperative to heed the manufacturer's specifications regarding the renewal of screws and self-locking nuts, as well as the prescribed tightening torque. When replacing air suspension modules, it is imperative to use the vehicle manufacturer's tools and equipment. Air suspension modules are left and right hand parts. Check the association of parts prior to installation. Take the air suspension module out of its packaging and check it prior to installation. Please refer to the provided installation instructions and check the expiration date. Measure the length of the Bilstein air suspension module and compare it with the minimum length specified in the installation instructions. Prior to removal of the air suspension module, vehicle height is measured and recorded from wheel hub center to the bottom edge of the front fender. Attention, this is possible only when the air suspension module is not destroyed. Lift the vehicle using the lifting platform support points specified by the manufacturer. Thoroughly check all suspension components for damage. Pay attention especially to the suspension bearings. Attach the diagnostic device and establish the connection. Completely bleed the air suspension module via the diagnostic device. Switch off the ignition. Always remove the ignition key when working on the air suspension module. Remove the wheels. Disconnect the electronic cables on the connectors on the air suspension module and remove them from the bracket. Check the cables and connectors for possible damage. Remove the bracket of electronic cables and the brake hose. Dismantle the coupling bar of the radius rod on the steering stub axle. Loosen and remove the lower fixing screw of the air suspension module on the transverse control arm. Remove the fixing screw of the upper transverse control arm on the steering stub axle. Swivel the steering stub axle outwards and make sure that neither the brake hose nor the electric cables are damaged. Then lift the air suspension module over the lower transverse control arm backwards. Secure the steering stub axle on the upper transverse control arm. Remove the coverings in the engine compartment. Always wear the necessary protective equipment when working on the compressed air system. Clean the pressure line connection above the air suspension module. Carefully loosen the pressure line until you hear the sound of effusing air and wait until the residual pressure has dropped completely. Then remove the pressure line connector fully and then seal it. Ensure that you do not bend, twist nor squeeze the pressure line. Properly secure the air suspension module from falling out and only then loosen the upper fastener. The air suspension module can now be removed. The installation of the new air suspension module is analogous to the removal in reverse order. Remove the safety label immediately prior to the installation. Insert the new air suspension module and screw it to the upper assembly points. It is imperative to heed the manufacturer's instructions regarding the renewal of screws and self-locking nuts, as well as the required tightening torque. Swivel the steering stub axle outward and lift the air suspension module on the lower transverse control arm. Then secure the steering stub axle on the upper transverse control arm. Loosen the locking screw on the pressure line connection of the air suspension module and remove it carefully. Remove the centrally inserted bracket of the cutting ring. Replace the screw and the cutting ring on the vehicle's pressure line. 
Pay attention to the correct alignment of the cutting ring. Mount the pressure line on the air suspension module. During installation, heed the manufacturer's instructions regarding the torque. Mount the lower fixing screw of the air suspension module on the transverse control arm. Mount the coupling bar of the radius rod on the steering stub axle. Screw the upper transverse control arm with the steering stub axle. Install the bracket of electronic cables and the brake hose. Use the cable ties provided in the scope of delivery. Attach the connectors of the electric cables to the air suspension module and fix them to the corresponding bracket. Attention! Never lower the vehicle from the lifting platform with a depressurized air suspension module. Attach the diagnostic device and establish the connection. Fill the air suspension module via the diagnostic device according to manufacturer's specifications. Check the pressure line connection for leakage. The leak tightness of the entire system must be guaranteed. Attach the wheels professionally. Lower the vehicle down to the first ground contact of the wheels and then start the engine. Let the engine run for at least two minutes and then lower the vehicle with the engine running to the previously measured level or to the series standard height. Activate the vehicle's lifting mode. Wait until the vehicle independently lifts up from the lifting platform. Only then is it allowed to fully lower the lifting platform. Install the covering in the engine compartment. Always align the axles after working on suspension parts. Bielstein. Drive the legend.